Okay, so the question has been asked to me is why we've introduced Shine at Karam Down Secondary College. And, and I suppose like every school, we know that students come into the college and they're not at the required learning standard. Um, the data clearly tells us that. We've done some uh, extra data. We're doing PAT testing this year with all our network schools across the um, our feeder primary schools. So all our data is very comparable now. But then what do we do with that? How do we make sure we bridge the gaps in, the, in that learning so that the students catch up, so to speak? Because otherwise they'll drift through to senior school and they'll be behind and they won't be able to perform to the expected standard. So the SHINE program is clearly aimed at supporting those students to try and bridge that gap. Hi, I'm BG Pillay. I'm the SHINE coordinator at Karam Down Secondary College. Just wanted to go through a few of the things that we have in SHINE and what it stands for and things like that. So, um, first of all, to start with, uh, SHINE stands for Structured Health Through Intervention in Numeracy and Literacy or English um, and it is a fantastic program that is designed to help our students perform uh, performing below the expected level to bridge the gap in their learning so that they can improve in their numeracy and literacy skills. So uh, in SHINE the students are enrolled um, based on their PAT um, testing results and also NAPLAN results. Um, SHINE uh, students attend program once a week um, for one period and they are timetable according to the session or, and it shows up on their timetable as well. So this is uh, for numeracy or literacy or for both. So if they have numeracy and literacy, they will be attending two um, lessons per week. So SHINE is a program that helps students who are struggling in either literacy or numeracy. It pulls them out of their regular class and gives them uh, the assistance that they need to get up to what we would consider is a regular standard. So one of the ways we tried to um, build the resources into our SHINE program was to really engage the pre-service teachers. Traditionally, pre-service teachers come into your school, they'll be issued a mentor teacher, they go and they teach in the classroom, normally teaching the curriculum that the mentor teacher is doing at the time. We want to give our um, pre-service teachers a different experience, but also support our students in the SHINE program. So our uh, pre-service teachers are getting involved in SHINE, they work in very small groups, um, they develop their differentiated uh, teaching skills, they have ownership over those, those very small groups and those kids and really build those strong relationships with those small groups in the classroom, as well as going out into the classes and teaching with a mentor teacher in a full-size classroom as well. So a little bit different experience to what you'd normally get if you were a pre-service teacher. Feedback we're getting has been you know, reasonably positive and they're getting uh, that extra um, skills as they go and learn their craft doing their um, teaching degree. So your general day here would consist of starting the week, Monday mornings, there's a general briefing in the staff room and Monday afternoons there's also uh, level meetings as well. Uh, depending on what the requirements are, you might be working with teachers in the same area, but it gives you an idea of what is required with school planning and working cooperatively with other teachers. So this is the shine room. Each morning when you sign in at the office, you can pick up the fob and let yourself in. So I've got tables organised in groups because you're working in small groups. Um, choose an area and it's very well resourced. There are lots of resources. Being a part of the SHINE program has really been useful for me because it's reduced hours. If you're just doing one day a week, it means that you're not spending the, the late nights and early hours on doing lesson plans because you're uh, fronting a, a class of students every day and covering different lessons. So it personally fits in with my lifestyle of, of having children. The one day a week just really takes that pressure off and it means that you're coming in fresh and you're not having to do the tremendous workload. So if that's something that 
would work well for you, this is a great opportunity to do that.